Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I'm Larry Weinstein, and I'm both a CPA and the founder of SolveMyTaxProblems.com, based in Houston, Texas. And today I wanted to answer the question, why might an appeals officer be easier to work with than a revenue officer? A little bit of definition here. A revenue officer is typically the first line of defense that you'll work with when your case has been assigned. And a revenue officer basically is going to look at all of the financial information, all the documentation, typically the Form 433A, all of the supporting documentation, and try to come up with a solution for, uh, for your problem, whether it's an installment agreement, currently not collectible, or whatever the solution really is. So they're really the first line of defense. And sometimes they can be a little bit more difficult, they could be a little bit more stringent, they maybe don't have the full big picture uh, of your case. They're looking, how can I collect as much money as I can, as quickly as I can. So they might not be possibly as even-handed. That's not the case all, the, all across the board. But sometimes they but might be a little bit more difficult to work with being a revenue officer. Definition, appeals officer. They're the person that you, you are going to be dealing with when you file a collection due process, also known as a CDP hearing. If you deal with an appeals officer, it's been my experience, certainly they're using the same rules and regulations that the revenue officer is using, but they take a much broader uh, picture. Even though they have a very strong collection experience of their own, they're looking to see how can I be fair to the taxpayer? How can I be fair to the IRS? How can we come up with a solution that's fair to both parties? And it's been my experience in most instances, in many instances, if they take a, if they take a position, they, their, their thought process is that they're trying to come up with a solution for this case. So they're going to, they're, they might work with you a little bit more. I won't say they're going to bend the rules, but they're going to give you every benefit of the doubt, assuming once again that you're not breaking the IRS rules and regulations and the standards, uh, the collection standards that they have into place. So that answers today's question, why is an appeals officer easier to work with than a revenue officer? And I think the answer to that question is they have it in their mind that they want to come up with a fair solution for the taxpayer. They want to resolve this matter. That's it for today. Appreciate you stopping by. Look forward to talking to you real soon. Thanks.